Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From <laughs> RNA Music. You see, I wore a shirt today. I am proud of you. I did not. <gasps> well, you know. I was thinking, because I wore my dork pen um, jacket, because I have like a bunch of- With all of, your like, tchotchkes. With all my little Star Wars, and how much I love a bearded man, and all this stuff. And I need an RNA Music pen. <sighs> Pen. Pen. It would be a pen. It, it would be an not actual a pen. pen. Not a pen. It would be, that would be cool. I bet we could have those made. I know. I think that would be so much fun. Uncle Book and the Jalapeno Overdrive has some. I have. Yeah. Right there. Represent. She-Hulk. <laughs> Ant-Man. Yeah. I'm going to ask, have to Star ask Star Wars. Tim where he got you. Uh, we are your favorite mom and pop guitar shop <laughs> and music lesson studio That's deep cool. in the heart of Texas. You probably figured that out by now. Mm -hmm. But if not... That's where we are. That's where we are. All right, and today it's time for another episode of Ask RNA. I think this is number 284. Ooh. I think it's 284. We're gonna answer questions from people. <gasps> Let's get to it. All right, welcome back, y'all. It's time for another Ask RNA episode with myself and, and me, Angela. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we have a little guitar shop and lesson studio where we teach people music and keep the music and we alive. keep the music alive mm -hmm. um, so if you're new here that's kind of what we do what we're doing and we here. shoot videos and we have mm -hmm. fun and all that kind of stuff if you want some swaggity swag it's a great chance to support uh, 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 small business t-shirt yeah store down in the description of this video go down there click on it get you something yeah. just some RNA socks yeah. or a shirt or a hoodie or a hoodie it's sweater weather so you can get a hoodie weather. hoodie weather yeah all right, anyways, we're gonna to get to uh, answer some questions. Uh, subscribe, click the bell, all that YouTube all that stuff. stuffity stuff. Yeah. Sure. And now we're gonna answer questions. All right, so first question. Many questions, actually, from Brian Strausser. Mm. Uh, he said, since Epiphone came up, have you ever tried the Modern or anyone who has? Mm. Has the landlord repaired the corner of the building? <laughs> How about Philip McKnight? Is Vola going through a restructuring? Okay, so a couple of questions Ooh. from Brian. Let's get right to it. Mm -hmm. I have not tried the Modern mm -hmm. from Epiphone or uh, a Gibson either. Okay. So I have not. We were talking about Epiphone's last week's Ask RNA. Go back mm -hmm. and check it out if you missed it. Mm -hmm. And talking about uh, the Explorers and the Flying Vs and the Les right. Pauls and right. Epiphone in general. Right. And uh, yeah, so. I did check out, we were recently at another store the other day and I saw one of the new, like the newest flying V from Epiphone. Um, right. They have some new stuff out that comes with Fishman Electronics and stuff. I was like, Ooh, that's pretty sexy. I kind of like mm. that V. Mm. kind of like it. Mm. It's not a Schachter, but you know. <laughs> mm. But no, I have not played the Modern or know anybody who has. So if yeah. any of you guys or gals have played a Modern, Comment below. Tell us what you think about it, what you love about it, what you don't love about it. That's fine, too. Mm -hmm. um, so there you go, Brian. Next question. Has the landlord repaired the corner of the building? <laughs> Some of y'all new folks may not know that almost two years ago, a car crashed into our building yes. in the corner. And uh, it took forever to get it fixed. And we did get it fixed, actually, finally. Not mm -hmm. the landlord. It's not the landlord's. You know, it was insurance companies. Yes, that's what it was. So we were waiting up. on the insurance insurance companies to get their shizzle together. For grizzle. That it was, uh, yeah, it was the insurance company was the mm -hmm. biggest holdup. But we finally, almost exactly a year later, did get it repaired. The outside anyways. Now the inside is still a little yeah. catawampus. A little you know, bit. Just not bad, but mm, a little bit. But bad. I'll probably have to... Uh, I'll take care of that myself, I guess. Maybe someday. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But yeah, the building outside outside <laughs> looks better. You would never know that a truck crashed into it. Yes. And so, our car. <laughs> and our car that was parked there. So that was mm -hmm. that was fantastic. It was amazing. Yeah. It was fantastic. So amazing. Fantastic. But it is fixed, so if you come and visit us at Arnie Music in Canton, Texas, you will not see a big Gaping crunch hole in the, the uh side of the building. Of the building. Yeah. Where a car ran into us. Okay. Uh, how about Philip McKnight? Question mark. I don't know if that's a specific question. Like, what do we think of Phil? Uh, Phil's a nice guy. Yeah. He mentions us he, quite a bit. He talks about us. Yeah. He'll Gives give us, us a shout out. props. 
he'll be getting some little shouty shouts mm -hmm. every now and then. And uh, we've we've well we've texted back and forth. Yeah. Um, you know. And, I guess he was talking talk. about giving him love as much as you were giving um, Fluff love. Oh, <laughs> like, I don't know. Like what about Phil? What about Phil? Oh, maybe they were asking about like who, who celebrity do you want to uh, have on? Oh, okay, yeah. On uh, mm -hmm. that'd be fun. RNA. He probably would do it. He, he, probably he would probably would. do a. That'd you be know, cool, like a little Zoom, a little you know, interview, little chitty interview. chat. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be awesome. interesting. He he would probably do that. I think he's he'd always be been very it. nice. Uh, oh yeah, and giving us shout outs. Very and stuff. nice. We appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Somebody asked about Robert Baker. I was like, Robert's had some cameos. Yeah, we've some had Robert videos. here. And if you go back far enough on his channel, you'll see he's made a couple of videos about us. Mm -hmm. Wearing our shirt. Wearing our shirty shirts. And mm -hmm. Playing some guitars that we were formerly retailers yeah. for. It's now like Robert's like just like a friend now. It's not like he's a celebrity to us. So it's just... He's, he's not just, a celebrity. He's, he's just Robert. He's just Robert. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's been over here a couple times and having dinner and Ryan's been to his place and... We, you know, we hung out, so it's it's different now, since yeah. we've already had all that interaction with him than in, it was in the beginning where yeah. Ryan knew who he was. I had no idea who he was. Um, and we became we became friends, became friends way we... back in the day, back in the early days of his YouTube channel, early yeah. days of our channel. Um, now his fairly exploded and took off because yeah. he worked stinking hard oh my to gosh, get where he is. Like long hours. That he's age. quite a bit younger than me, so he has more energy. <laughs> So he's able to stay, only sleep four hours a day. Yeah, and, he's about 15 years younger. Yeah, you. <laughs> go like nonstop. Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, but he would, Robert would probably do something. I mean, he has done stuff with us before. Yeah, so. no, no problem with that. But yeah. He's a, he's a friend. <laughs> he is, and uh, we like him. Yeah. It feels great too, so. Yeah, but I yeah. should reach out, you know. You I was funny, I was texting, I was messaging Fluff, because we talked, and I was like, hey, I didn't really plan to have two videos in a row where like, we're talking we're about talking you about all the you. time. You know, but but here's the link if you want to check it out. He's like, dude. No, he said, dog. I'm subscribed. <laughs> he's like, I'm I, like, I watch your videos. I watch all your videos. <laughs> and I was like, what? All? Because I was like, like you know, ooh. I'm subscribed to a lot of channels, <laughs> but I don't watch every single video from yeah. every channel I'm subscribed to. But if there's some that I can have playing in the background, like I do, I go yeah. to those videos because I know that they're going to be consistent. And that's probably how he is. Yeah. No, there, there are a few channels I, I try to catch almost every video they put out if, right. if I can. But, you know, if you're subscribed to 500 or 1,000 channels, it's like mm -hmm. you can't. So I was just sort of like, oh, yeah, you actually you actually watch them. Right. Fantastic. Hi, Ryan. Because <laughs> he's probably again, watching. It's like again, it's like it's going to turn into an Ike thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, See, I go. We just mentioned five him music again. Denver, Colorado. Lord have mercy. Ike only watches because yeah. he gets shout outs. No, Ike likes <laughs> no. us too. Yeah. They've upped their That's game, the by the way. Oh, anyways, yeah. anyways. Uh, thanks so much. Final question yeah. for Brian it says Is Vola going through a restructuring? No. <laughs> no, no. You won't see it in this video, but we just got our, we just got our dealer plaque. We unboxed it. Mm -hmm. Or unbagged it. Yeah, you'll recognize the outfits. Because we're in the, it's the same. It's the same. Yeah. 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 I took my glasses off, I think. Oh. So I'm like, Superman, yes. you won't recognize me without my glasses That's on. That's true. But yeah, it's Sean Cho, CEO, Ryan Wong, president. And it's those are the, still the guys, the owners of mm -hmm. Vola Guitars. Mm -hmm. And uh, no. Oh, there's a little Nicky Nick. Did I drop that? No. It was the UPS. Yeah. USPS. Well, it was in a bag, so I'm sure it's going to... And USPS put a dingy ding on my guitar, my mini Vola guitar yeah, plaque. It's all good. No. You have a character. Uh, no restructuring <laughs> at all that I'm aware of. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're not on the inside. So yeah. We no, it's, there's still, this has been a funny year for 2020. Because you can imagine yeah. production for all companies, big companies, like Schecter is like huge compared mm -hmm. to Vola. Um, Everybody's getting doing. product, especially Everybody's anything doing. made overseas in Japan or, or whatever. It's like it's messed with everybody's supply chains. So right. if that's what you're asking about, if like maybe you're not seeing as many, but they've released a lot of models this year. They've mm -hmm. actually been very proactive. So been pumping. Yeah, uh, they're full steam ahead. Mm -hmm. It seems like so. 
There you go. And that was final question from Brian. Thanks, Brian, for the multitude of questions. Kabayoff. Next question, Kabayoff. Mm -hmm. It says, hashtag AskRNA, hashtag Chili Cookoff. I would like to try the LF-DMF Mm -hmm. set in a guitar, but reviews of them are scarce. Do you have any experience with this set? How do they compare to the Dirty Fingers? <laughs> Better Ooh. turn that off. <laughs> Led Zeppelin will definitely get you demonetized because mm -hmm. they don't like, I thought I had my phone on mm -hmm. Simon. Uh How do they compare to the Dirty Fingers or an 8985 set? Uh, okay, so he's talking about the Lars Frederiksen. Mm -hmm. Is it Lars? I think it's Lars. Yeah, Frederickson. Sure. Uh, of what band is he in? Do you know? Of course not. <laughs> Rancid. Oh, which is yeah, of course. You know Rancid. all their albums. <laughs> Paul, mm -hmm. the bitter bass man, is a huge Rancid fan. Is like, he now? Like, yeah, he loves him some Rancid. Mm -hmm. You would think it would would be Green Day. He was a I big know. Green Day fan, but he he likes their. Uh, a very much less polished Green Day. Okay. They're a punk rock band. It's a rancid punk rock. Mm -hmm. So the uh, the main guitar player, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, he has his own signature set of EMGs now. Sweet. And they are passive EMGs, mm -hmm. not actives. Yeah. Do you have any <laughs> experience with this set? No. I have never ordered them. I had to go look them up. I'm like, what, which ones are these? Mm -hmm. The LF-DMF. I'm like, oh, okay, that's right. I had to watch the video. I watched him talking about it, Large Fredrickson, talking yeah. about how he became involved with EMG and right. how that relationship started, and then yeah. how he ended up, you know, with uh, a set of pickups from them, passives, mm -hmm. and it is that's the DMF stands for Dirty Middle Finger, <laughs> which is kind of his tribute, I guess, because there's the uh, uh, the other what's the other company? Uh, it just slipped my mind, of course. But they have a pickup called the Dirty Fingers. Mm. And so this is like, I guess his take on those particular pickups, but it's, yeah. it's kind of in that realm of the sound that you get from that, but it may be a right. little bit more aggressive. What's more aggressive than Dirty Fingers is a Dirty Middle Finger. That's just wrong. It is, kind of. But they're, the name of the band's Rancid. Well, you know. So, you know. <laughs> it's little, fitting. Johnny Rotten. I get it. Super rancid. I don't know what the obsession get, with punk it. rock and expired meat is, but you know, or food. Sure. <laughs> but uh, I, you know, I haven't, I haven't ever played them, mm -hmm. so I can't really say. I watched the video. You can go find it. It's on uh, EMG's channel, I think. Okay. And Lars, he's explaining all that, and he's playing the the guitar and the middle finger. Yeah, the the dirty middle fingers. Okay. Pickups. Mm -hmm. They look cool. And in that video of him playing, it sounded pretty good. Yeah. So you you can definitely tell where the inspiration is for those. I don't think it's close to the 89, 85. It's, it's probably a lot much, a lot closer to the, uh, I was thinking it was Bare Knuckle for some reason, but no, the Dirty Fingers probably are- Probably they have are, similar names. Yeah, Gibson. It's a Gibson pickup. That's not a typical name, I guess you would have said. Gibson's all like, that's not the name they give their pickups. Right. But Bare it's Knuckle like has stuff called the Juggernauts and the, you know, whatever. Right, right. Funky names, so. Huh. But I, I'm sure it's just like EMG's take on a, like a hot rotted yeah. Gibson Dirty Finger pickup. Okay. But I've never played on them personally in 3D in a room with mm -hmm. an amp, so I can't give you that perspective on them. But the video I saw of him talking about it, they sound right. pretty good. Somebody honestly. in our comments might. Yeah, if you me. have played them or experienced with them, comment below, tell us what you think. One of Paul's favorite yeah. ever bass solos is from a Rancid song. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's actually pretty good. Like he's, yeah. their bass player is pretty ridiculous, oh. actually. I mean, you know, you can't deny the talent of most of those guys in most bands, really. Yeah. That make it. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're still, that's they what do. they do. That's what they, they do. do what they do. All right, thanks for the question, Kabeoff. Next question, Fat Philosopher. I got my first ever mahogany neck with a laurel mm -hmm. fretboard after playing maple necks for ages. What do you think, what do you think is an underused wood for necks? Mm. Hashtag chili cookoff. Hashtag can't say the other word or they'll sue you. <laughs> That's right. Yes. You can't, you can't say that. Yep. On turkey television. It's like Pat. 
It's not allowed. It's not allowed, Ryan. <laughs> Ryan. It's not allowed. It's like... Premier Guitar will see you, Ryan. <laughs> Don't use Premier Guitar's trademarked that, terms. That quick face that cracked me up of him smiling. And then... <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> it was like my first trip to Texas and Ryan gets me kicked out of the Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Taking a moving picture. That's not a laugh. That's not a laugh. That's not a laugh. It's not a laugh. It's not a... Well, I'm just waiting to snap a single shot. That's Ten all. Technically, you're just taking a lot of photos. It's a lot of still photos <laughs> tagged together in, in tandem. I'm a Pat. <laughs> we believe in freedom in Texas. I know you've been to other parts of America now, but in Texas, you've really come to the land of the free. <laughs> when they have a posted list of rules. And the home rules, of the freaking brave. Remember the Alamo. They're more like guidelines, Pat. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. So, underused wood for necks. Are you talking about fretboards? I think wood chip Or neck woods? I'm assuming because laurel is typically used as a replacement for uh, rosewood because rosewood now is, it was on an endangered list and now I think it's off the list and mm -hmm. you couldn't export guitars with rosewood fretboards because of oh, CITES and all mm -hmm. these things. And so laurel mm -hmm. uh, is very similar in, to mahogany in its makeup, but mm -hmm. it's not an endangered wood. So um, wild. there was a season There's there for a couple of years where guitar wood. players, <laughs> endangered woods. Mm -hmm. Which, We're, you know, makes sense when yeah. they're chopping down trees all the time. What's crazy, I, I kind of feel like, is that, you know, rosewood is even m more endangered than, than ebony. Mm -hmm. When ebony is really just getting harvested and they trash a lot of it because it's not the jet black ebony. There's a lot of ebony in an ebony tree that's not a, just jet black. Mm -hmm. It's sort of chocolatey and it's got mm -hmm. striations. Mm -hmm. Like my muscles. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And actually, I really like that. I like the little more chocolatey, you know, veiny looking ebony than just the jet black ebony. But they, right. but I guess rosewood is even more in demand. Or there's like a swirly, a swirly. No, I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, you know, for for fretboards, mm -hmm. I don't really, I don't really know. I've always been more of a. Uh, my first couple of guitars had rosewood fretboards, and then I got on a big ebony kick. Mm -hmm. Where it's, it's got to have ebony. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the lower quality guitar if it doesn't have ebony fretboards. Got to have ebony right. fretboards. And now in my uh, advanced middle age, I have drifted to where I like. Man, I really like maple fretboards. There's no shortage of maple. Like maple is. Yeah, but it's pretty. Yeah. Well, uh, one of mine has a couple of guitars have. I have flame maple fretboards, which mm -hmm. I like a lot. Mm -hmm. More than just just plain maple, just blah maple. Flame maple is super sick on fretboards. And then on one of my customs, I got bird's eye maple fretboard, and it looks ridiculous. Like right. it's it's my favorite thing on that specific guitar. Really, is the bird's eye maple fretboard. So I don't. I like that look too. Yeah. Now for the not the fretboard, but the actual neck. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend Art was here yesterday and he picked up a guitar from us and we were talking about woods because he does like he does pins like on a lathe and he does stuff, stuff and really pretty stuff. you know and we were talking about different like uh, Zircote and mm -hmm. uh, zebra wood and what's black limba mm -hmm. black limba and we, we started talking about acacia guitars because mm -hmm. uh, Art has an acacia that he's got from us and we were talking about some of their some of their stuff is just ridiculous, but mm -hmm. they had a, a Cronus that the back and the neck were all black limba. And I was like, oh, that looks super awesome. Mm -hmm. So I think there's a lot, you know, we, we sort of get stuck mahogany, mm -hmm. mahogany everything. Mahogany body, mahogany neck. Mm -hmm. Mahogany body, mahogany neck. I think some of those other, uh, those other, oh, what was on uh, Ironwood was mm -hmm. one that he said he made something out of. I'm like, I'm not familiar with that. I gotta look it up. I'm like, oh, that is cool. Mm -hmm. it does get a little bit pricey for some of the exotic woods. So. But yeah, I if think. If you haven't heard of them, then more than likely it's gonna cost you something. Yeah. Paduke. I like Paduke. 
mm -hmm. and a neck. Though it's kind of you don't see very many guitars with a Paduk neck. I have a Paduk mm -hmm. top guitar. Yeah. Uh, but using those kind of things, like on the neck, mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. I don't think you would make a fretboard out of it. I don't think it's the right consistency for a fretboard. For a fretboard, mm -hmm. you need a super hard and dense, mm -hmm. really wood. The necks can be a little less intense than that. But, mm -hmm. that's uh, allergies acting mm -hmm. up. Yes, allergies. So that's when I think on um, the actual neck, but not the fretboard. I really like the look of that. We were looking at some the other day that were flame maple necks. It's mm -hmm. a very PRS thing to do. PRS mm -hmm. does that a bit. But Acacia also had some super sick. The neck was maple neck, but really flamed out and right. color. <laughs> it was a green flame neck. It was like, oh. Yeah. Oh, why don't guitar players, why don't guitar makers do oh, Well, they don't do it because it's more expensive. Right. And you know. They want to be able to sell stuff. Right. It's not cost effective. Not everybody effective. can do custom guitars. Yeah. Or will buy a huge, pump out huge numbers mm -hmm. for custom, so. I wonder if everybody's used quilted maple for a fretboard. I've seen bird's eye maple fretboards. I've mm -hmm. seen flame maple fretboards. I like the bird's eye maple. I'm yeah. Like I don't have it out here. Mm -mm. I should, I should have brought it. I should have got it, but oh my God. whatever. Um, yeah. But I can't think of anything, you know, like the Laurel. I've never tried that. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever played one that has that. Yeah. If you guys have, down below, Let comment. Let us know. Leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. I was watching some stupid Nerf gun channel the other day. Mm -hmm. And like every... Like every two minutes, the guy, and it's got like millions of followers, mm -hmm. millions of views. And he's like, comment below if you like this Nerf dart. Just let me know below if you think whatever. And everybody's like, how many times are you going to say comment below? <laughs> like, like literally. We're going to. In one video, he said, comment below if you like cheese. <laughs> All right, this one's full auto. Comment below if you like full auto. Okay, this is a blue Nerf gun. Comment below if you like blue. And like, I mean, it's just it's ridiculous. But he's smart though, because the more comments you get in your comment section that drives the engagement up, mm -hmm. YouTube goes, YouTube hey, let's like, push this in front of you. A lot of people are talking about this YouTube page. Yeah. But maybe, you know, depending if your fan base is really young, like probably the fan base for Nerf. Between the ages there, of seven and 13. <laughs> relatively young audience. Really all your birthday presents from your sons. <laughs> <laughs> But mom's gonna give you an even better birthday present. Are you saying I'm not doing this? Yes. <laughs> I had to choose. I had to choose one, so I chose the biggest one. Thank you. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted. I think it's like the Halo, where you load it into the top and not the bottom. He's gonna ruin. It's a shotgun. We're gonna ruin the day that we gave. Oh yeah, this. I'm gonna shoot oh, yeah. all y'all. It also comes with targets. Oh, that's right. It's a kit. And by targets, I mean cats. Reactive target flips. <laughs> Why do I need targets when I have Ember? Yeah. Stop that. Oh, danger. <coughs> She's fine. Happy birthday. Thank you. They're like, why is it's this grown man getting toys on his 45th birthday? They're not toys, they're tactical advantages. Who wouldn't want toys? It's tactical advantages, I guess. Yeah. Ferocious beast. Because these are the pictures of him that I sent. Like, hey, what do you want for your birthday? I'm like, mm, I don't know. Here, <laughs> here's some like Nerf guns. <laughs> like, who wants screwdrivers? Aftermath. <laughs> who wants saws and screwdrivers and and beer pong? Yeah, beer pong. Mm -hmm. Is that they, they actually have that as a gift for men. Beer pong setup. It's ridiculous. I'm pretty sure you can just do that. So by apparently, all cups. men are, uh, you can wrap Not men up in three things beer, barbecue, and television. Yeah. Apparently. Not my husband. It's... No, it's guitars and toys. <laughs> and video games. And Which video makes games. you fun and, and young games. at heart. It does. It keeps Not me Not that the other things don't. That beer doesn't keep you young and heart. Yeah. <laughs> Being an alcoholic doesn't keep you young and joyful. It stops what? your heart young. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it'll keep you young? All right. Be young forever. forever young. All right. Love you. Love Happy you birthday, Rai Rai. Love you more. Thank you. Thanks, boys. You're welcome. So excited. It's probably. Yeah. And they're like, he said to comment. I'm going to do it. Unless you have that Simpsons, Simpsons guy from the comic book store guy. 
<laughs> well, actually, I'm totally going to comment about your Nurkin. <laughs> your Nurkin video is stupid. You said comment too many times, but I'm not going to. You can't tell me what to do, even though I'm commenting right now. <laughs> Thank you. Which is what he wanted. So. Comment below if you like Nerf guns. All right. Next question. Just fun guitar. Hashtag chili cookoff. Hashtag KTMA. Wow, you really do have plenty of law enforcement out there in the Wild West. <laughs> we do. We, we were do. talking about the difference between the number of police officers and... How ironic it would be for yeah. a police siren to go by like right now during the comments. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> uh, give it time. Uh, just Fun Guitar is in England Shire. Uh, we're talking, our cops don't generally carry firearms either, but we don't get much gun crime here. Well, probably not. Nobody has guns. <laughs> but we won't talk about the knife crime. Yeah. Let's not discuss the knife. Do yeah. your cops the carry knives? Cut you. <laughs> do the police, do the uh, police officers in England carry knives? Mm. Mm. I bet they have batons. They have batons. Yeah, I watched Hot stun Fuzz. Gun or they have. Um, they have guns. I watched Hot Fuzz. Pepper spray or some kind, of, some kind of thing. <laughs> they have tasers. 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 Does the, does the local populace carry tasers? <laughs> Is everybody yeah. armed with tasers? Well, we don't have a lot of like shooting crimes in Canton either. Not specifically here. No, I mean, like I was saying, like we were talking about just our town right, our police officer town. and our local community. We don't really have a lot of like shootings. We had one like two years ago at Thanksgiving or New Year's. Oh, yeah. And it was just, everybody was like, what? what? That doesn't happen here. Even though we have lots of police officers who do carry firearms. We don't see that kind of stuff here. We really don't. Yeah. For as many people in this area who are packing, women included. Everybody's got guns um, out here. <laughs> it is like the wild Everybody's West packing out here. Everybody. What do you mean everybody? Like who? Farmers? Farmers. Who else? Farmers, farmers moms. moms. Farmers moms. Literally. Um, you don't really see a lot of, at all, crimes with police officers or even people. You would think with the number up. of firearms that are in our county. You would think the number of meth labs here in town. <laughs> not in Canton. In our county. Actually, not in our county. Kaufman <laughs> County has got the meth labs. <laughs> Where? Have you been there? You know people who know things? I know people who know things. Mm -hmm. I know a guy who knows another guy who knows things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we don't have, we usually have. He says, new question, what is put into your local stews? Here we have what they call lobby, which is all kinds of leftovers put into a freshly made stew. Interesting. This is a question for Mrs. RNA, because I don't eat stew. No, he does not. Mm-mm. Um, stews. You talked about last typically week. Typically beef. Beef stew. Or beef. Um, or it's vegetable. It's like cubed steak. That is um, Typical Texas stew. Cooked. Goat. Um, you get cute. I'll actually buy a, a package from the from the grocery store. grocery store butcher section, and it's actually cubed up pieces of steak, um, beef, cow, steak. Um, from the butcher. From the butcher, they and you will kind of just sear it a little bit, and then add some flour to the mix to it. Some people will add. Um, brown gravy mix, like you can get it in the packets. I don't know if y'all have that there. Um, and add that little bit of water and then stir that up to make it almost like a, a gravy or a roux. And then you put it in your pot with a couple of quarts of water and some carrots and potatoes and celery and onion. And later you add corn or beans or peas and um, that's your stew. Tomatoes? Sometimes, but some people like tomato-based stews, but some people like just beef broth-based stew that has like a little bit of cornstarch or flour in it to make it more like a gravy. So it's not real gravy thick, but it has that kind of thicker, heartier taste to it. So that's what usually we, and then we have chowders and stuff like that. But- um, Chowder. Chowder. We have potato and clam and corn chowder. I our family never really made chowder, but we I know friends that love it. That's all they make. Yankee um, friends. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, it's usually that's usually what it consists of, and then you have just your your typical soups that most 
or across the board, you just chunk everything in, all your bags of frozen vegetables and chicken broth or beef broth or vegetable broth and let it cook. You can add noodles or um, gnocchi, um, potato, <clears throat> little potato things, noodle thingies. <laughs> I don't know what, or how you ever say gnocchi. Huh? It's like potatoes. It's like it's a potato noodle, but you cook it and it tastes like, almost like a dumpling type potato noodle. Taters, spreaders. Um, but yeah, there's all kinds. But typically, when you're talking about stew, you're going to have beef. Now, some people add venison, like deer, and some people add bison. Mm -hmm. I've had bison stew before. That's really good. It's a softer meat. It's very tender. Um, and um, the buffalo. The buffalo. That's what it is. And that's about it. That's all I've ever had. Ven I've had venison. We, that's what we ate all the time as kids. We had venison all the time as kids. Um, yeah. It's like wild cows that are harder to catch. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's a lot of work to get some deer. It really is a lot of work. Really, to get you know, when the cows are just standing out there, like yeah. there's just no challenge in hunting cows. Not <laughs> you don't hunt them; they just come to you. You gotta hunt buffalo. <clears throat> Literally, if well, you're in a to. truck, if they're programmed enough, like they have been raised enough, <laughs> if you're in a truck, because we went out shooting and we're on friend's land, and he had maybe like. 10 or 15 cows that were in that section of land mm. near us. As soon as we drove guys, into the pasture, they, they were like, oh, hey. like they didn't hey. even know who we were. They had no idea. They just saw a truck and they knew people were in it. That means food. Food. And they Humans are us. bringing us food, not death. And that goes back to that whole cattle rustler. If they know, they see a truck or they see a trailer, yeah. most of them are just so automatic. Like, oh, let's just get in. He's <laughs> telling us to, let's just go. Deer are like, nah, dog. Yeah, deer are like, what? That's bad news. See a human. <laughs> You'll see him peek around the no corner good. real fast. They're like, oh. They're like, oh. Hmm? No. No. <laughs> We're out of here. We're out of here. You only got a split second to farm deer. Yes. <clears throat> they got to be quick. I guess deer are smarter than cows. I believe so. I believe they're very intelligent creatures. They got to be. The they know to run. Except not to go across the street. At a certain amount of time. It's like... Well, you know, cars are not natural predators. So they don't know how to react. What's the what's that thing? Yeah, that's a fast moving animal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> there is our stew question and answer. What do, what do you guys and gals like in your yes, stew? Have you ever had a lobby? Whatever. Yeah. That your version of lobby. What it? Whatever your version of it. Put your stew recipe below. Comment below if you like stew. Mm, I might do a video of someone's stew and try to make it myself, and then I'll. That we should put it, put it on our channel. That'd be great. That'd be fun. Thumbs up if you like stew. Thumbs yes. up if you don't like stew. Yeah. Give Comment me your below. Recipe. Engage. 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 Final question. <laughs> Sean Adams hashtag chili cook chili cook off. You got it. Kaki mm -hmm. uh, Question. No strings attached. Mm hmm. Would you take one million dollars now or wait ten years and get ten million dollars? Mm -hmm. Ten million dollars. Money please. Money please. <laughs> <laughs> I we actually talked about this the other day because hey there was yes. a there was a interesting question. Of all of the questions, that was the one that piqued my interest. Right. Because it involved we, we talk about this subject a lot. It involved millions of dollars of like that. That's highly fascinating. Yes. Let's talk about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I said, Angela, would you Take $1 million now or wait 10 years and get $10 million. Yes. And my response was wait 10 years and, and get, get $10, $10 million. Dollars. And you were like, why? And like, 10 years you would be how old? I would be 52. Yeah. In 10 years I will be 55. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. I'll and be then, 52 years old. But I thought, well, if I knew I was going to get a no strings attached $10 million in 10 years, I would do my best to work in that 10 years time to pay off as much stuff as possible, to downsize, to get where I want to be so I can enjoy that $10 million instead of having to use that $10 million to pay off a house or do this or do this or do this. I could already have it done or most of it done mm -hmm. in 10 years because 10 years is a long time. It is a long time. You can get time. a lot of stuff done in 10 years. So if you're thinking, okay, I know I'm in 10 years, I'm going to get $10 million. 
And if I can live off of like a third, a third of a million in one year, then I can have that last for, you know, like whatever, 30 years, however, 10, because mm -hmm. it's like 10. So I'm like, I'm, I would be thinking like, how could I utilize this so I could optimize the amount of money and the return and the investment so I could live the rest of my life off of that $10 million. Mm -hmm. That's how I would do it. Yep. And I said, million dollars now. <laughs> money, please. <laughs> money, please. Yeah. Money, million dollars please. today. Yes. Thank you. And if you don't know night. that reference of money, please go watch Parks and Rec. Money, please. <laughs> or YouTube. I'm sure it just says Parks and Rec, money, please. Someone set a fire in your car because you took too long and I got bored. <laughs> money, please. Oh, no, no, there's no money. <laughs> money, please. Money, please. Money, please. Ben, give her some money. It's easier. Yes. Google that. Yeah. Well, after our video, watch our video first, then go do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, it cracks us up. Anytime we hear people <laughs> talk about money, we're like, money, please. Would you like to get paid money now please. or later? Money, please. <laughs> <laughs> I would take it right now. Because <clears throat> as you said, 10 years is a long time. Yes. A lot could happen in 10 years. Right. That's true, too. Now, I'm expecting to live to be like 99 years old mm -hmm. and playing guitar and all that kind of stuff. However, Things could happen. It, um, we may not be here in 10 years. Right. So like, that would kind of suck. You're like, well, you died nine years from now. Then I would say, I would have a stipulation where if I didn't make it to the 10 year mark, then whoever, like Nicholas and Aiden, would get to split the $10 million. Mm -hmm. That's how I would have it. I would have it set up. Because I know I'm going to get it. So then I would be able to tell whoever, if I don't make it until the 10 years, then that money goes to my children, my husband and my children. But then you said... But I said, you could give me a million now, and in 10 years, I'll have $10 million. Right. Right. Or, since it's the both of us... Right. Oh, well, that was my, my thought. I said, well, Angela can have the 10 in 10 years, and I'll take my million now. <laughs> and, like, we get the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. That's what we would do. Mm -hmm. So, since you're asking two of us... She'll take the 10 and 10. I'll take the one right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah. We'll no. use his million to pay off all of her debt. No, Get we won't. Out. No, we will not. <laughs> and then. <laughs> we will invest it into things that make mo money. Yes. Yeah, we were talking about buying real estate. That's our biggest thing that, because yeah. here, a lot of rent houses, there, we have friends that own many rent houses, and that's, that's what we did. We have friends who bought land. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, four years from then, so Walmart came in and it's like, hey, we want that land. We'll give you $4 million. All right. I mean, I only mm -hmm. paid 300000 yeah. for it, but you can give me $4 million for it. Yeah. That's what's great about living in a small town with a lot of pasture in town. When business want to come in, like we have a Burger King getting built, right? Because mm -hmm. we don't have a Burger King. Um, we did. We used it, to. It was, it, it was It was nasty and it got brand down and now it's a Panda Express. But we're just now getting like real, like instead of mom and pop restaurants, like we're getting more and more like real chain restaurants. And so whenever those th people come in, usually it sets off a chain reaction of more businesses wanting to come in. And then the commerce wants more businesses to come in because that means more money coming through the community. So it's good to live in a town like ours where you see land for sale in town like i know a lot of people y'all don't understand that because that's just right. not how it is especially in england and it's like land is a premium so whenever you have the money you buy the land mm -hmm. you just do it that's what we're trying to teach our boys too yeah. so we would totally do that to turn it around to make money for yeah. ourselves and there are people like you can't turn a million dollars into ten million dollars i'm like sure you can all people do like, it all the time all the time and, I'm, and i said if i gave you a dollar now in 10 years, could you make that $1 turn into $10? And you're like, yeah, for sure. Easy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you had 10 bucks, could you turn that 10 bucks into 100? In 10, in 10 years, could you take $10 and make it into 100? Could you yeah. take 100 and turn it and into 1,000 in 10 mm -hmm. years? You know, could you mm -hmm. take 1,000 and turn it into 10,000 in 10 years' time? Mm -hmm. Could you buy some stuff with that $1,000? That could eventually make you money. At and a wholesale that would be price, for that and just then resell thing. it and do that and take that ten thousand and in ten years 
turn that one thousand dollar investment into ten thousand in ten years. Right. Oh, you could. That makes a lot of sense. It's like, yeah. well, then you could do it with a million. Mm -hmm. people, Easily. People have Easier done easier with a million. People have done way more than that with way less. People have taken two hundred fifty, three hundred thousand, mm -hmm. and turned it into ten million. Mm -hmm. There's people in less we than know ten stories years. where people have taken just like two hundred dollars in their wallet and bought a few ingredients, made, made pies or cakes or have started sewing clothes and turned it into a multi-million dollar business within 10 years. Within three years, really. Yeah. Because of yeah. even less. With e-commerce and yeah. stuff like that, so. So yeah, I take the one million now. Yeah. Now there's a chance I could buy a million bucks worth of guitars and be like, well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I mean, there is a chance. But there's a chance that you could blow the freaking 10 million when you get it. Mm -hmm. I mean, people do it all the time. People win the lottery and then five years later are busted and broke. Because yeah, they don't understand money and how it works. Yep. So that's what we do. Tell us, comment below. Would you take $1 million now or $10 million in 10 years? If you Which haven't you already take? commented under Sean's. You probably have. <laughs> but comment below. That one's super fun. I like that one. Mm -hmm. I'll take the $1 million. Thank you. Money, please. And that's the final question for this week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, commenting and watching and asking questions. If you have a question for next week, please type it down below with all your other comments. And we have a secret hashtag of the day. If you watch this entire video, which I'm excited because it's probably going to be less than an hour. Yes. It is. Uh, if you watch this entire video mm -hmm. and you're at this point, we have a secret hashtag. We want you to type with your comment or by itself or whatever. It just lets us know that you are one of the elite few who watched the entire video and you're amazing and a legend. And the uh, secret hashtag of the day is hashtag money, money please. please. <laughs> Saw that coming. Yeah, yeah. That one was easy. I like that. <laughs> so hashtag money please. And that is uh, you watch this whole video. Yeah. Thank you guys so much. And if you would like to give us money, <laughs> but get something in return like a t-shirt yes. or a hoodie or some oh. socks, go to the Teespring link down below. That's our mm -hmm. online t-shirt store where you can go in and buy some swaggity swag if you want to support keeping the music alive in small town east texas helps us out we appreciate it and uh it's just one simple way you can if you want to you don't if have you to yeah. if you want yep and uh also share this video if you mm -hmm. have some friends or family or relatives who you think hey you should watch these these uh texans this goofy kids these texans are something else <laughs> You should watch them. Share the videos. We appreciate that so much. I never ask people to do that. I always forget. Hey, spread yeah. this around. They're like, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's always good to share. It is good to share. Share the love. Share the millions of dollars. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. The music needs you. And you need the music. And we need to keep it alive for the next generation. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And, yep. That's it. Yep. That's it. All right, great. Because I got to go teach lessons now. So excited. Okay, okay. Money, please. Money, please.